Hey friends, I'm here to share happy news. I know that's weird this time of year with this current mess in the government and so forth. Uh, but I've got I've got nothing but happy news today. It's weird. Anyway, so what kind of happy news do I have? Well, first bit is I got to see my oldest son this past weekend. He's doing fine. He's looking good. He shaved off his beard, which is very strange, but okay, he looks different, uh, but he's doing well. Uh, I've heard from my son and daughter-in-law, Conan and G, and they're also doing great, as is my grandson, Knut, who's at that stage where he's getting up on two legs and wandering around everywhere, clinging to the wall. It's going to be trouble. That's okay. And I also talked to my daughter, who's also got good news, but I don't get to tell you about that good news. She's going to have to share it with you later. So anyway, it's just happy times all around. But here's the real happy news for me today, because my kids are always perfect. You know, we raised them well. They're doing good. Uh, the real happy news for me today is I got my book in the mail. Oh, man. I am so happy with this book. Uh, I devoured much of it this afternoon, and I learned so much about spiders. I really have to recommend this, recommend it very highly. It's extremely useful. So what's so great about it? Well, uh, you know, in my work in the past, I have, I have always been a kind of model systems guy. That means I don't have to think much about the animal I'm working with. You get it handed to you. It's this highly inbred line. Zebrafish come from a strain that was collected in, by the British in the 1830s or 1840s, somewhere back then. Uh, so taxonomy is something we don't worry about. And now that I'm working on spiders this year, um, it's a whole different ball game. So I, I've collected all these spiders from around the house, and I'm raising them in the lab. They're doing just fine, by the way. The colony is expanding. Uh, but the real problem was I kind of knew what family of spider they, these were. These were Theridiidae. So they're they're fairly well known, well understood, very popular. Well, is popular is the word? Very common house spider. So I knew that much. But then when you get down to genus and species, okay, things get murky. And so I got this book because, um, can I admit this? I haven't used a dichotomous key since I was an undergraduate in a teaching lab. This has a dichotomous key for spiders. And I never realized before what a powerful tool that was. I suddenly felt like I was the master of the universe because I can go find a spider and by peering at it and flipping through this book, I can figure out exactly who that spider is, which is which is a great feeling. It made me want to go out to the local parks and run around where I knew there were lots of outdoor spiders and just start naming them, you know, painstakingly yet, because I still have to go through the book. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's raining and it's cold and it's windy and it's supposed to snow tonight. I don't think this is good spider hunting weather. But come the spring, after I've memorized this book, guess what I'll be doing? I'll be going out there. By the way, I am wearing my spider hunting hat. This is really useful. Little magnifying lenses in the front. Just get up close and you can you can spot the details. <coughs> I also, of course, have hand lenses and things like that. So anyway, what did I do? I went through this book. And there were several aha moments when it was describing the details of the behavior and the physiology and the anatomy of these spiders that made me realize, oh, I know exactly who I've got in the lab. And uh, I came to the realization I've actually been collecting two different species. So one of them is Steatoda triangulosa. So I'm quite clear on that. And that one, I've just got a few of those. Uh, and I don't know what I'll do with them. I may just keep them around for curiosity's sake, maybe for some comparative work. 
But the other ones, the most prolific ones I've got that have been producing lots and lots of eggs for me, are the familiar from the biological literature um, spider um, Parastatoda tepidariorum. Man, that one's a lot harder to say than Daniel Rario. Anyway, so I've got Parastatoda, which is kind of nice because that's, like I said, that's the one you find in all the literature, the conventional literature. So I can start working with that and comparing that to what's being published. And it all fits so all, all the anatomy, all the details of the development that I've been able to figure out so far. So it means I kind of feel like I've been doing things correctly. I know. Isn't that, isn't that shocking? Anyway, so that's where I'm at. I have figured out who my spiders are from this book. Oh, I should just sh I should show you more. It's, it's a gorgeous book full of illustrations. Um, so, you know, you can just flip through this. And see how, it's just full of spiders, which may not be appealing to some people. And I should credit the author. It's Richard A. Bradley who's the author, and the illustrator is Steve Buchanan. And they both did a magnificent job. So it's, I'll include a link to this book on Amazon down below. I, uh, you know, if you're really curious about spiders, this is, this is a great one to get. Uh, it's unfortunately one of those academic books and it's a little bit on the expensive side. I think it was 77 bucks or something. Uh, yeah, we need a Kindle edition or something that's cheaper. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. Everything is just coming up spiders for me right lately. So I'm, I'm happy. We're all good. How's your life going? You got something to make you happy? You need something to make you happy outside of all the news, which is not going to make you happy. And I just, I've just been finding a great deal of satisfaction in spiders because I am a colossal geek. Anyway, I will talk to you later. It's been fun. Let me go play with spiders some more.